it's Cherie, and in today's video, I'm partnering with Natita of So Natural Dane, and we are bringing you a full review of the Made for Mermaids Almafi swimsuit. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. Originally, when I shared the Almafi swimsuit in a massive haul, I did not imagine that I would be sharing pictures of myself wearing the swimsuit. I thought I might talk to you guys about the process of making swimwear, but I never thought that I would actually post a video sharing what the swimsuit looked like on my body or posting pictures in the swimsuit on Instagram. However, I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone and I'm doing this so that I can help you when you're deciding which swimwear you'd like to buy and I'm going to talk to you about some of the challenges that I found with making the swimsuit and wearing the swimsuit and some of the successes. Now, I am primarily a modest sewist, which means that I don't typically make or wear a lot of very revealing clothing. So if you're uncomfortable learning or seeing me in a swimsuit, I encourage you to click off of this video. But for my friends that actually want to hear about the process and are not bothered by seeing me in a swimsuit, please continue watching. Let's talk about the actual pattern. The pattern that I chose is the Amalfi swimsuit and this particular swimsuit is a three-piece swimsuit pattern and the cool thing about this pattern is that it has two different bottom variations. You can do the high cut or you can do the low cut. I chose to do the low cut swim bottoms because I like to have more coverage. I also have a rather flat bum and I have found that wearing high cut things usually results in a wedgie and that is not something that I'm ever interested in having, okay? Whether it be underwear or swimwear, your girl isn't about to walk around with a wedgie, okay? So I chose to do the low cut version which gave me the most coverage. Now, when I picked up this pattern, I read three-piece swimsuit. So in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, okay, bikini top, side tie, and bikini bottoms. Those must be the three pieces. I was so very wrong. <laughs> and if you had seen this pattern and you thought the same thing, friends, let me tell you right now, that is not what they mean by three-piece. What they mean is that the bodice of this bikini is actually two separate pieces. Now, upon reading that, I was very discouraged because I knew that two separate bodice pieces meant double the amount of elastic. Double the amount of elastic that would be hugging around my upper waist, and that sounded really uncomfortable to me. And it actually was pretty uncomfortable, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But you need to know that when they say three-piece swimsuit, they mean two bikini pieces and the bottoms. Now the ties are actually an additional piece that you can choose to use or not use. They do give you instructions to make two of the ties. I chose to only do one, only because I don't really see myself using the tie that often. I'll show you what mine looks like. And so the concept of the tie is to basically make this swimsuit look like it is a different swimsuit. You can change it up. So you can use the ties to tie at the shoulders, you can use it to tie in the middle of the bikini or you can tie it on the sides of the bikini bottoms. Now, another cool thing about this particular pattern is that it is a reversible swimsuit. Now, as a reversible swimsuit and it being three pieces, it is extremely creative and it definitely lends itself well for say a vacation where you want to have different looks for each day wearing your swimsuit, but you actually don't want to pack a lot of swimsuits. It gives you options to change it up. If you look at the picture here, you can see that um, the woman modeling has chose to wear one side of the bikini on this side and then the reverse side of the bikini on this side. And then on her bikini bottom, she has rolled them down so that you can see the top pattern of the bikini bottoms. On this side, she's chose to wear the floral bottoms with a solid top, but she can also wear um, both solid pieces as well. I'll show you what that looks like on my version so that it's a little bit more easy to understand. But that is what they mean by a three-piece swimsuit. This is important for you to know, <laughs> okay? The next thing I wanna talk to you about is the fabric that I chose. This is the gorgeous fabric that I chose. I chose this wonderful tie-dyed looking fabric on one side and this solid blue on the other side. I also made two versions of this swimsuit, so I'll show you the other swimsuit that I made as well. 
and this is the fabric that I chose for the other one. This is a really great print. I purchased it because it was only $7. And actually, I want to talk to you about how affordable it is to make your own swimwear in a second. But first, let's talk about this version. This version is not reversible. I actually chose to line it with Power Mesh. So all of my fabric came from Fabric Fairy. I believe that's what it's called. And I will insert a link to the website below. And if I've said the name of the store wrong, I'll write the name of the store on the screen. But each piece of fabric that I purchased was one yard. And I want to say that each of the pieces was somewhere between $10 and $12. So that was what I did for these. And these are swim fabrics. The blue one I believe has a special coating on it so that it is good for protecting yourself from the UV rays. But the other one is just typical stretchy swimsuit fabric. So that's actually a really great amount of money to spend. I know that swimsuits in my size to accommodate the bust that I have typically cost $68 to over $100 for me. So to buy one yard of fabric for $10 um, a piece, to me sounded like a great idea, at least worth trying out, right? Now this particular fabric also came from the same store, but it was on clearance for $7. So I got this for $7, a whole swimsuit for $7, okay? And this power mesh on the inside was something that I had in my stash from year, a couple years ago. So I finally got a chance to use it for something. And so I'm happy about that. Now the elastic, I purchased originally elastic I believe it's Dritz brand and I got it on Amazon and it was something like $5 for three to five yards. That's fine. I got a couple of those and um, they worked out okay. But I later realized that the Fabric Fairy also sells swimsuit elastic and their elastic was much cheaper. I want to say the elastic for one swimsuit ended up being like three or $4. So pro tip, look at the websites where you're buying your fabric. Don't automatically assume that Amazon's gonna be the most convenient or have the most convenient affordable prices. Because sometimes, even though fabric stores can be a bit pricey when it comes to buying notions, they actually do have a, the better deal. So compare prices both on Amazon, Joann's, or any other fabric store websites before you place your order. And also if you buy all of your supplies from the same store, you're saving money on shipping costs. So that's another thing to consider. Um, this particular fabric caught my eye because of all the lovely colors in it. And I was thinking because it's reversible, the reversible side would look very flattering because there's a similar color of blue in the design of the tie dye. So I thought if I wanted to mix and match like the young lady on the pattern cover, it would be very complimentary. So that is why I chose this pattern. Also, Lately, I've just been kind of not feeling great. And when I see beautiful bright colors, it cheers up my mood. So I actually want to wear things that are cheery and bright and colorful. Hence this lipstick that is bright, okay? Um, just bright colors just change my mood and make me feel better about myself when I'm wearing them. So that's another reason why I chose these really bright, bold colors, okay? The fabric is really great to work with. I want to say that this is probably the tightest, um, stretchy four-way swimsuit fabric that I've touched so far. I felt as though it gave me a bit of a compression when I'm wearing it, and I appreciate that because it kind of sucks in some areas. However, I will say that one of the things that I find difficult about wearing swimsuits is that they hug your body. So if you have any dimplage or if you have any extra skin or anything like that, in swimsuit fabric, if you're not wearing like a tankini or something that's loose, you're gonna see some of that. So having a really tight four-way stretch type of thick swimsuit fabric kind of helps with smoothing out some of those areas on the body. So this was good fabric and I highly recommend it. As I mentioned before, I'll put a link to the store below so that you can check out some of their swimsuit fabrics. They did have a quite a good selection. As a matter of fact, I also have another swimsuit cut out in this print and I purchased this fabric from that website as well. So there's that. Let's talk about pattern sizes. This particular pattern is pretty inclusive. Um, I'm gonna look at my notes so that I can tell you exactly. The upper bust measurements for this pattern 
is in two different size brackets. We have the 31 inches to 53 inches, and then we have the full bust, which is the 30 to 60, and then the waist from 23 to 57, and the full hip is 34 to 64. So I think that's pretty inclusive. Um, I haven't actually seen a ton of swimwear patterns, so I don't know what other um, swimsuit patterns, how they compare, but I think that that's pretty inclusive. Um, and the reason why I was drawn to this pattern in the first place is because I am a fuller woman. I'm not plus size, I'm not particularly thick. However, I do have some areas that are fuller in my body and I was really impressed by some of the pictures that I had seen on their website of women of all shapes and sizes wearing this swimsuit and just looking so great and comfortable and confident in this swimsuit. So I really appreciated that and I felt drawn to the fact that, you know, us women that have a little extra could be sexy and beautiful and covered in a nice swimsuit. So as you can see, the young lady on the pattern cover is also a busty woman. And so when I'm looking at certain patterns and wondering whether or not they might like flatter my body, I do look for women who have similar body types to myself. She does and she looks great. So that definitely drew my attention to this pattern. With the first version of the swimsuit, I didn't make any modifications at all. I made the swimsuit according to the tutorial, 100% used all the materials that they told me to use, followed all the instructions. However, <laughs> when I actually wore the swimsuit, I'll be honest with you, it was incredibly uncomfortable. Like, so uncomfortable that in my mind, I thought there's no way and heck, I'm ever gonna wear this, no matter how cute the swimsuit might be because it's just so uncomfortable. Now, I had predicted that it was gonna be uncomfortable and um, I was hoping that I was wrong, but I wasn't. So I've mentioned in a previous video that I have some health issues and that it causes me to be a bit bloated. And to be honest, when you're wearing something that has very tight elastic, and puts pressure on those areas, it is completely uncomfortable. It can make you feel as though your air is being cut off, even though it's sucking you in on your waist or your sides, it's just so uncomfortable. You just feel like it's unbearable and that's how I felt wearing this bikini top. Because I had two separate bands of elastic around my waist, two, that's too much. One piece of elastic, sure, two was too much. Another thing that was slightly uncomfortable but very necessary is that this top portion of the bikini has elastic also. And this is so that it secures your boob inside. And you definitely need the elastic since it's two separate pieces. You wanna make sure your boobs don't go anywhere, friends, okay? So you definitely need that elastic. But for my first version, I used 3 8 inch of elastic on both the waist and this part of the swimsuit and I did find that it was very, very tight and while my bust was secure, I wasn't very comfortable wearing it. So that is something that happened with the first version of the swimsuit that I made. The bottoms of the swimsuit, which I have lost, <laughs> I washed laundry and somehow the swimsuit did not make all three pieces into the wash, um, were extremely comfortable. I loved the way they felt. I loved the way they looked. Um, as I mentioned before, swimsuit fabric hugs the body, so there are some things that you will see bumps and curves and dents and whatever in bodies that will show through on a swimsuit. However, I felt comfortable in the bikini bottoms. I felt like I had the right amount of coverage. I felt confident walking around in those bottoms and I felt secure and it was not too tight on my waist. So the bottoms are a 10 out of 10 for me. So there was nothing about the bottoms that I would want to change, however, I decided that I had to try this pattern again because it was so cute and I had to figure out how I was gonna make it so that it was more comfortable for myself and didn't cause me pain when I wore it. So I decided to make another version and for the second version that I made, the first thing that I thought about was the elastic, right? So in that version I just showed you a minute ago, I used 3 8 inch of, inch of elastic and in this version I use 1 4 inch of elastic and it's much thinner. Actually, in this version you can probably see the elastic here um, and that was the first thing that I did to make it more comfortable and so that it wouldn't be as tight on my body, especially since I was going to have to wear double the elastic on my waist. So. 
that was the first thing I did and friends that worked out really well and this version is actually comfortable to wear. The other thing that I thought is, as I mentioned before, when you get a really nice, thick, stretchy swimsuit fabric, it can be like compression wear and it can hug you really tight on the body. And I thought, well, what if I didn't double line it? What if I made a version that was not reversible so that I wouldn't have fabric that was so tight on my body and maybe it wouldn't be as restricting or uncomfortable. So for this version, I actually didn't want to experiment with going out and buying additional swimwear fabric. I wanted to use some stuff in my stash because it was really a test run. I didn't imagine that I would like it as much as I do. Um, but if I had to do it again, I probably wouldn't use power mesh. I'd probably just use swimsuit lining if it is. I've never used swimsuit lining before, but if it is thinner and not as tight um, as the regular swimsuit lining, I'm sorry, the swimsuit fabric, then I might try that instead. But the power mesh worked out really nicely for me. I don't know how it will do over time as far as breaking down with chlorine or salt, salt water from the beach or whatever. But for this version, it being my test version, I was okay with rolling with this. And because it's power mesh, it's obviously stretchy and also helps with support as far as holding things in place. Um, so this version using the power mesh as a lining and also using one fourth inch of elastic instead of three eighths made it much more comfortable to wear. There is one drawback though. As I mentioned before, I am a busty woman. Um, so my bust kind of fluctuates, but in, on an average, I will purchase anywhere from a 34 to a 36 G or F cup, okay? So that's just to give you an idea. Um, I have also had success when we're talking about like strapless bras doing a 36 triple D. So those are my, my regular bra sizes. That's just to give you an idea as to what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a full bust, right? So going down to a smaller amount of elastic meant that it was not as tight on my bust, which also meant that um, it wasn't as supportive, right? So the other elastic was really supportive and sturdy and held my girls up real tight. Whereas when I wore this particular one, I definitely felt more comfortable and my breasts did not sit up like they did in the other version. They actually just were in their natural state as if I didn't have a swimsuit on or a bra or anything like that. They were just sitting in their natural state, which is extremely comfortable. But if you want that look of having your breast lifted in your swimsuit, you may want to stick with 3 8 inch elastic instead of going down to 1 4 inch of elastic. Another thing that I did to change this version from the first is I went up a size. Originally, I made a size 4 or it's actually a color, I believe it's indigo. Yes, I made the indigo and then I decided to go up a size and rather than reprinting the pattern, I just traced about a half an inch extra on the pattern piece so that I could have the additional coverage here and on the side. I thought that giving myself more room would make it more comfortable and that worked. The bottoms I kept in the indigo size. So I'm happy with the size of the bottom. So I literally didn't change anything about the pattern on the bottom, except for it is not double-sided. It also has the power mesh. Interesting enough, my mom mentioned something that I hadn't considered. <laughs> she said, why didn't you use like the crotch fabric for your swimsuit instead of, or lining fabric for swimsuit instead of the power mesh? Aren't you concerned about the power mesh pinching any pubic hairs. TMI, I'm sorry guys, but we're, we're getting real here and I'm trying to help you, okay? Because this is how friends help each other. They tell each other too much information, okay? <laughs> Anyways, um, she said, are you worried about it pinching? And I hadn't thought about it. Now I am a person that landscapes, so I don't have too much of an issue there. However, someone else who does not landscape might find that to be something that's uncomfortable. It's because the power mesh has tiny little holes, what if it catches a little hair, right? That could be uncomfortable. Um, so just a thought, some notes for you. <laughs> you can decide to use or not use. I have swam in this swimsuit and I do wanna let you know there were no issues, okay? Um, 
Another thing that I did in this version, as well as the other version, that I actually don't recommend that anyone do, especially if you're a person that doesn't have a flat stomach and your swimsuit is really going to be holding you together, do not do top stitching at the top of your swimsuit waistband. Do not do top stitching on the waist part of your bikini top. Because as it stretches, even though I used a zigzag stitch, I wanna show you that I have some threads that popped when I was wearing the swimsuit. It's not gonna come apart. It's not gonna be any noticeable to anyone but you, but I wish I hadn't top stitched because now I have random thread that I'm gonna to have to go back and unpick because I know that stretching over and over again it's gonna pop. Now the zigzag stitch, obviously you could probably try to do a larger zigzag or lightning bolt stitch if you wanted to, or if you have a cover stitch, you might wanna try to use that. I personally felt that it was unnecessary. I did the top stitch so that the lining wouldn't roll to the front side of the swimsuit while I was wearing it, but I found that I totally popped the top stitching by wearing it um, and it's stretching over my belly anyway, so. If you're like me and you don't wanna be out there popping stitches, I recommend that you don't top stitch the waistband or the top of the bikini bottoms. On to the next topic of does the swimsuit look like the pattern cover? Yes, my version did come out. My swimsuit looked beautiful. It definitely looked like the version on the pattern cover, however, as you all know, we all have different body types and different shapes. So my swimsuit does not fit on my body the way it fits on the model here. For one, I have extra belly. I've had two children and the shape of my belly is different now. Um, and she has a flat stomach and different thigh shapes and whatnot. But I will say that this particular swimsuit is flattering, not just on my body, but on all the other versions that I saw on the Made for Mermaids website. So. I definitely encourage women of all sizes to give this pattern a try if you're interested. So yes, my swimsuit did come out looking like it's supposed to. Does not look like the lady on the pattern cover. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Um, now, the last thing that I wanna to talk to you about is whether or not I'll sew this swimsuit again. To be perfectly honest, the swimsuit top, the bikini, I will never sew it again. I made two versions. I'm proud of myself for doing it and to, you know, and for making the tweaks to make it more comfortable. However, I personally did not feel comfortable with that amount of elastic hugging my body. And even with making the changes so that I can make a more comfortable version, I feel as though there has to be a swimsuit that gives a similar look that will be more comfortable for me. I've even considered looking for a tankini that has a similar design. So, and also, I just don't know how practical it is for me to be carrying two different bikini pieces and it's awkward to have your boob in one piece, one boob in one piece and the other boob in another piece. So I personally don't think that this style of bikini is for me. However, I absolutely love the bikini bottoms for this pattern, very comfortable, very cute. I will make this over and over again. And as a matter of fact, that piece of fabric that I showed you is my next version. I'm actually going to be making are using this fabric um, to use to make the bottoms. And I actually found a different pattern through Made for Mermaids to make a different style of bikini top that I think might be more comfortable for me. So the bottoms are a win, 10 out of 10. The bodice is just not for me, but lovely on lots of other people. But if you're a person like me that doesn't like a lot of very tight um, things around their waist because it hurts for one being uncomfortable is one thing but it actually hurts me then I recommend that you steer clear of that particular bikini top so would I recommend that you make it it's up to personal preference but I will tell you that for me it's uncomfortable I won't make it again the bottoms I will the top I won't <laughs> all right so that is my full review of the Amalfi swimsuit I definitely hope that you plan on heading over to Natita of So Natural Dane's channel so that you can check out her review of the same swimsuit pattern. We're all different people. We all have different opinions and different experiences. We all have different bodies. I think it's really nice to hear a review from more than one person to help you in making decisions about whether or not you'd like to make certain things. 
So definitely check her out. She's talented, she's funny, she's beautiful, and I'm sure she's got some wonderful tips and tricks to share with you with regards to sewing this swimsuit. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you are interested in seeing other swimsuit pattern reviews, please let me know. I have made a couple of other swimsuits that I might be willing to share with you in future videos, but only if I know that you're interested. So leave comments below and let me know if you'd like to know more about other swimsuits that I've been sewing up. And head over to Natita's channel. Have a wonderful summer and have a wonderful week. Bye.